Theresa May rebuked Donald Trump on Thursday over his sharing of propaganda videos from far-right group Britain First while the UK's ambassador to Washington confirmed he had formally complained to the White House about the president's offending tweets. Choosing her words carefully, the Prime Minister said, I am very clear that Reitvedig from Britain First was the wrong thing to do, while British diplomats waited in vain for the president to delete the tweets or offer any kind of apology. May and other ministers tried to limit the damage by stressing the importance of Britain's historic links with the US, but an emergency debate in Parliament heard MPs from all parties criticise the President on one of the darkest days for the transatlantic special relationship. Speaking in Amman, Jordan, May said, the fact that we work together does not mean that we are afraid to say when we think that the United States have got it wrong and to be very clear with them. I am very clear that Reitvedig from Britain First was the wrong thing to do. Britain First is a hateful organization. It seeks to spread division and mistrust in our communities. It stands in fundamental opposition to the values that we share as a nation, values of respect, tolerance and, dare I say it, common decency. Trump retweeted three videos from the account of Britain First deputy leader, Jada Franson, and later stoked the furor by sending another late-night tweet urging May to focus on combating terrorism instead of criticizing him. Sir Kim Darroch, Britain's ambassador to the US, tweeted, British people overwhelmingly reject the prejudiced rhetoric of the far right, which seek to divide communities and erode decency, tolerance and respect, and said he had raised concerns with Trump administration officials. British people overwhelmingly reject the prejudiced rhetoric of the far right, which seek to divide communities and erode decency, tolerance and respect. British Muslims are peaceful and law-abiding citizens. And I raised these concerns with the White House yesterday. Woody Johnson, appointed US Ambassador to the UK by Trump, also said he had raised concerns about Trump's Britain first tweets with the White House. Responding to a flood of critical responses to a call-out he had started on Twitter, Johnson said, Thank you for your questions and feedback. I have relayed your concerns to Washington. The US and UK have a long history of speaking frankly with each other, as all close friends do. Our relationship is strong, vital and enduring. British government officials would like action to be taken as a result of UK diplomats setting out the nature of Britain first to the White House, but stressed the UK was not in a position to make demands that the President delete his tweet or apologize. Officials were eager to underline how forcefully the UK had made its points to the White House, but clearly the UK does not want to get locked into a standoff with the President. It was also being stressed that the row over the tweet will not damage wider UK-US relations, but at the same time it should not be underestimated how seriously both the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary felt about the matter. Senior figures from the UK and the US are due to next meet at a NATO foreign minister's gathering in Brussels on Tuesday and Wednesday next week, and the two sides would like to appear reunited on ways to fight terrorism by then.